Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial where the, sort of the main point of this tutorial is looking at why you should take raw pictures as opposed to JPEGs or whether you should take JPEGs as opposed to raw pictures but at the same time I want to have just have a quick look at the overlays that you can use in the develop persona now I'm going to use this picture which I took back in November 2015 and it is my town's local remembrance service now I know it's not a brilliant picture which is the point of why I'm using it but in my defense I was sort of trying to work my way through the crowd trying to avoid the traffic that was um, sort of coming in the road behind me um, so it was just a sort of quick lift camera and click type image so I didn't have much time to sort out the settings so like I said this is the JPEG version now there are lots of problems with this image mainly the sky area up here which is sort of all blown out and this area down here which is much lighter than the area over on the side here now obviously there are other problems like these yellow beacons um, I can't remember what they're called but these yellow bollard things here because um, they sort of distract from the eye but I mainly want to have a look at this area up here so one way that you could have try and get some high, uh, image back into this blown area is maybe with the shadows and highlights adjustment let me put that up there for now so if I lower the highlights as you can see it's, it's just it's got nothing to work with there's no data in the JPEG for that to work with similarly if I drop the shadows I mean it is sort of slightly improving this area here but not by much so that is uh, not much help so I'll delete that and I will then try a curves adjustment and I'll bring in the shadows up to the edge of the histogram and this is the highlights here and I could sort of bring this down a bit or try and go sort of try in different positions but it's not really helping up here um, I could sort of click and drag this down a bit which has really improved how bright that was on the edge but again you've got no sort of detail up here in the sky because the JPEG when the camera has taken the picture and saved in JPEG when it saves it discards a lot of pixel data so unless if you can sort of get all that you know it set up properly in camera and everything is perfect then you could just use JPEGs but the reason why you do raw is because it saves much more data now I'm gonna sort of just leave that where it is and I will open up the raw version because I my camera is set up to t save both raw and JPEG versions so let me just open up the raw version which is in the develop persona and using the same shadow and highlight controls if I drop the highlights down here as you can see we've now got some sky detail I've got the telegraph lines that were in, in that area and I can sort of adjust the shadows to try and sort of help bring back some of that area there so just using that those two controls as you can see the difference between 
the JPEG version where it really had either no effect or it made it really look really bad using the raw version using just those two sliders because there is more pixel information in the raw file I can bring back more detail that have been blown out I mean obviously you know you can still tinker with other settings you know like exposure and black point to try and improve or make this area better now one thing I will do is I'm going to just crop this I'm going to just bring this in cut her off a little bit of the crowd getting rid of one of those yellow road bollard things and double click on that so that's one less distraction so I'm now going to sort of try and improve this area up here with an overlay in the develop persona on the raw file so if I click on the overlays tab down the bottom here you can have a brush overlay or a gradient overlay so I'm going to start with a gradient overlay and I'm going to come to the top of the image hold down the shift key so it does a straight line oh, it doesn't seem to make any difference in the develop persona and I'm just going to come down to about there so I'm only really affecting the top of this image then come back to the basics tab and as soon as I start to make a alteration that area there is the only area being affected that area that is in red and that red will disappear once I start making an adjustment so let me just drop the exposure down a little bit just to make that top of that image maybe just a little bit darker alright yeah so that's I'm fairly happy with that so if I go back to the overlays and this time I'm going to use a brush gradient now you don't have to sort of designate that you want to start a new layer you can just click on either one of these icons and it will automatically start a new either brush or gradient layer so I'm going to use the brush layer as you can see it's added it there and you've got this circle which you can much like the brush in the pixel persona you can use the left and right square mouse brackets to increase or decrease the size now you can alter the hardness and other uh, uh, items up there but I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm just going to paint down this edge here because I only want to affect sort of this side of the image so come back to the basics tab and I'm just going to lower the exposure down that side so it wasn't so bright and this side sort of matches the uniforms on that side so I'm fairly happy with that um, now the next thing I want to do is I want to sort of reduce the, the f yellow on these bollards I wish I could remember what they were called but I'll we'll call them bollards for now so again I will come back to the overlays tab and I will click on the brush which will add another brush overlay and I will reduce the size and I will just paint on these and I'm trying to be careful but I don't think I need to be ultra worried about how much care I am taking because it's only 
I'm only sort of adjusting this to reduce their colour so they're not as distracting as they are at the moment so I'll just clip that one there with the woman's handbag and again come back to the basics tab and this time I will reduce the saturation of those I'm not going to make them sort of totally black and white I'm still going to leave a sort of hint of colour but they're not sort of glaringly obvious now so yes I think I'm happy with that so if I now click develop and we can now compare my edit of the raw file to the original uh, sort of JPEG version now obviously I've not cropped this off I as I could do, just to make them similar. There we go. So that is the JPEG, and you've got no cloud de uh, detail up here in the sky, and I can't find, you know, get it back. And I have improved sort of the brightness down here, and I could use other tools to try and help maybe get this area back, and I could use sort of masks and what have you to desaturate these yellow bollards um, but it's mainly this sky area that I want to concentrate on with the JPEG file there was no real way to bring back those details because they've been lost when it was saved as a JPEG but with the raw file I was able to bring back the details that was in that blown out area and using the overlays I was sort of fairly easy to sort of lower the brightness on the right hand side of this image and just knock back the colour of that yellow so they're not so distracting so hopefully just from that fairly simple example hopefully you can see the benefits of saving your images in the raw format although it does make the file size much bigger it will also give you more chance to bring out details because there is more pixel data there for Affinity Photo to work with and using the overlays be it the gradient or the brush you can sort of highlight the areas and tinker around with it to get the image you want before you bring it back in to the pixel persona where you could do more editing I mean you could for example try and clone out these yellow bollards or some of the leaves or what have you but on the whole I think working with the raw file is a much better way to go unless you can get like pixel perfect images when you first take the picture which is obviously everybody's dream but you don't always have time to do that like I did with this image I'm just sort of taking pictures off the cuff and sort of really didn't have time to worry about settings because these people were going to march past me within seconds so I just took as many pictures as I could and worried about editing them later so thank you for watching and goodbye